What's up, my friends from Mountaintop Kids Church? Man, I'll tell you guys what, I am so bummed that I don't get to see you in person today, but I'm excited to be here and still be able to have Mountaintop Kids Church with you online. Man, we got a lot of cool stuff planned. I can't wait. Now, we also want to give a big what up to all of our parents watching too. You guys are the real MVPs. So kids at home right now, turn to your parents and say, I love you. Awesome. Good job. Good job. All right, well, like I said, we have so much good stuff in store for us today. Now, here's the deal. Because we're all home right now, we don't have to go over all the rules, but I think we should still say rule number five altogether. Ready? Say this with me. Have fun, because here at Mountaintop Kids Church, we are all about Jesus first and then fun. Good job, you guys. Man, I can't wait. Now, before we dive into our big God story for the day, let's take a moment and go over our remember verse. Now, we're all going to read this together once, so I want you to read along at home, and then we'll take a few words away and see if you can fill in the blanks. But first, let's read. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Awesome job. Now, let's see if we can take a couple words away and have you guys fill in the blanks at home. So say every word, even though I'll skip a few words. Let us then, God's throne of, with confidence, so that we may receive and find grace to help us in our time of Hebrews chapter, verse 16. Let's read this all together one more time and try to read this in a funny voice at home. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Wow, that was so good. You guys are amazing. I'm so proud of all y'all. Keep studying that remember verse, man. Come back whenever we come back to Mountaintop Kids Church in person and know it, and you'll get a lot of points for your team and maybe even some moolah. <laughs> now, before we get started, let's see where we are today in our big God story. Last week in our Big God story, we started talking about Jesus' ministry. Remember, there was a paralyzed man who just knew that Jesus could heal him and set him free. However, Jesus was speaking inside of a house, and the house was so crowded, the Bible says, that this man couldn't even get in the house to see Jesus. So he had four of his friends dig a hole through the roof of the house and lower him down right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw him, he said, son, your sins are forgiven, and then he proceeded to heal him. This is because Jesus is God. He has authority to forgive sins and heal any sickness. Today, we're going to pick it up right there with another miracle of Jesus and talk about how Jesus is help. Today, we're going to tell you a story about a woman in the Bible who had an issue of blood. She just bled for years and couldn't stop, and she was in a lot of pain and a lot of discomfort because of it. Can you imagine never stopping bleeding? That must be scary. Now, the Bible says that one day Jesus was traveling through town and he had such a big following. So many people were following him. The Bible says they were so crowded. There was a big crowd of people all around them. They were standing shoulder to shoulder. They were so close, so tight. It's kind of like going into New York City, especially on New Year's Eve, right? Anyway, so Jesus is walking and outside of the crowd, there is this woman with the issue of blood. Now, she knows that Jesus can heal her. She knows that God is help. But she also knows it's going to be hard to get in through the crowd and have Jesus lay hands on her to heal her. So she fights and she pushes and she crawls through, right? She's squeezing through people, crawling through people. She can just barely see Jesus through the crowd. She reaches out and the Bible says she grabs the hem of his garment, in other words, the, the, just the very corner of his, of his robe, his cloak. 
Immediately, the Bible says that Jesus knows that the power went out of him, that someone touched him with faith to be healed. And so he stops everything. He says, whoa, hold up. Who touched me? Now, one of Jesus' disciples looks at him and says, Jesus, we're in such a big crowd, of, you know, any number of people could have bumped you. And Jesus said, no, no. Someone knew that if they could just touch me, they would be healed. And so this woman, she stands up and she's afraid. She thinks that Jesus is going to be mad at her. And so she says, I, I, I did, Lord. And Jesus says, wow, what faith you have. You're healed and you're forgiven. All of this because God is help. See, even in this tough time with this coronavirus and this quarantine, we have to know that God is our help. And we have to be willing to push through the crowd and and every distraction, even in our quarantine right now, and just get to God with faith that he's going to help us get through it. Let's say our ponder point together one more time. God is help. Now, before we close, parents, we have a special message for you. We've included in this post handouts for you to go over a special way of reading the Bible with your kids. This is called the SOAP method. Now, on the paper, we used as an example our remember verse, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. And we're going to take you through this real quick so you know how to do it with your kids at home. Each letter in SOAP stands for a specific step in this method. The S stands for scripture, so read out the verse or the passage of scriptures together. The O stands for observation. This is where you want to pick out one or two words or maybe even a phrase or sentence that really stands out to you. In our example of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, we picked out the phrase throne of grace. The A stands for application. This is where we say, how does this apply to our lives? So in our lives, in our example, we could say we know that that Jesus is so full of mercy and grace that even when we make mistakes, we can approach his throne of grace and ask him for forgiveness. And because our God is help, he will always forgive us. And then lastly, the P in SOAP uh, stands for prayer. This is where we want to close off our scripture reading with a time of prayer, a time of talking to God. In our example, we would say, God, thank you for, for forgiving our sins and being so full of mercy and grace that you will always take us back. This method is easy, it's simple, but it is such a great way to get our kids involved. And we have two different age groups. So we have one for the younger kids where they can kind of draw out the Bible stories and their prayers. And then we also have one for the older kids that they can go through step by step, like we just said. Parents, we strongly encourage you, use this method, use the handouts that are made available to you. It will really strengthen your kids' relationship with Jesus. Well, that's all we have time for today. Guys, I know Kids Church looked a little bit differently today, but we just want to say thank you for joining us. We miss you. We love you. We can't wait to see you again soon. But in the meantime, keep going over your Bible verses, man. Use the soap method like we just said. Keep studying the remember verse. In fact, parents, if you're okay with it, feel free to record your kids saying the remember verse and send it to us. Either send it to Miss Jamie or post it on Facebook and make sure you tag us in it. We can't wait. We want to celebrate this with you because your kids are so awesome and it's a big accomplishment to memorize this verse. Otherwise, we love you. We can't wait to see you. Stay safe and hopefully we'll see you again soon. But if not, don't worry. We will be right here online again next Sunday morning. Now let's pray and then let's close. Dear God, I thank you for all my friends in Mountaintop Kids Church. God, I pray during these scary times that you would give us all peace, that you would protect us, that you would keep us safe. And God, I pray that you would bless these kids and all of our amazing parents, Lord, that you would show us that you love us and that you would really be our help in time of need. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. All right, we love you guys. We'll see you next week.